Raven Elise TV. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven, and today I'm here with a fashion DIY video, kind of a thrift store revamp video. This is actually going to be a series of three videos, so after you watch this video, make sure you check out the other two that are very similar, but different projects. So for this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I made this hoodie that I'm wearing right now. It is a DIY lace-up front hoodie. This v-neck lace-up thing is really on trend right now. I've seen it done in so many different ways, so many different stores, some expensive, you know, crazy stuff, but I wanted to kind of try it for myself. I distressed it and I added the lace-up detail in the front and I just did it on a thrifted hoodie. So if you are interested in seeing how I made this, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so the first thing that I did was I went to the thrift store to get the base clothing items that I wanted to use. And like I said, this is a three-part series of videos, so I went ahead and thrifted all the stuff that I was going to be needing for all of the DIYs. Like I said, don't forget to check out the other DIYs. I will have them linked. But yeah, so for this one, I was using a oversized black hoodie, and I wanted it to be oversized just because I thought it would give like a cool slouchy look. Ideally, it would be cute if it was big enough for me to wear as a dress, but it's not that big on me and I'm pretty tall, so I don't know if that would have worked anyway, but if you are shorter, it would be cute if you get one that's really big on you so you can wear it as a dress. You can also do this on a not, you know, get a hoodie that is actually your size and it'll look cute too. So the main thing that I'm going to be adding to this hoodie is the lace-up v-neck and I was so lucky I found this lace-up stuff. I don't even know what you would call this, but I found it at the fabric store at Joann's Fabrics. They probably have it at whatever craft store that sells sewing supplies near you, like fabric and sewing supplies, but I specifically got this from Joann's and they had it by the yard. So it was on the rolls like next to the ribbon by the yard and it wasn't, I don't, I don't remember how much it cost, but I know it wasn't that much and Joann's always has coupons and stuff too, so you can usually get a really good deal. But yeah, it's basically like this Stuff like it's like the same thing that you see on all the like lace up clothes now. It's got the the black, you know, I don't even know what you would call this stuff, and then it's got the gold grommets already on there for you. So it makes it super easy to do DIY projects with it. So I just bought like a yard of it just so I could do different things. Really, just for this one v neck hoodie, you probably only need like half a yard. And so then the first step when you take your hoodie is to just put it on and measure on your yourself how you want your v-neck to be and since this is a hoodie and I wanted to keep the hood intact and kind of give like a different look I decided to leave the hood attached so you're gonna see where the hood is sewn on so I'm leaving that there and then I'm just cutting the V below it and so I just measured on myself kind of got an idea and marked on myself how I wanted it to be and then lay it down you know use a ruler or something so you have straight even lines and then just cut out your your V really really simple nothing special and then you want to take your grommet stuff ribbon grommet ribbon I'm just gonna call it grommet ribbon because I don't know what it's really called but um, you're just gonna take it and lay it out get the right length obviously you need two pieces one for either side and I did it to where the bottom grommet kind of crosses over and touches at the point of the V just to make it look neater and then you're gonna pin that into place and then just sew it on now, I know a lot of people are always looking for like no sewing tutorials, like, oh, I can't sew, blah, blah, blah. But you guys, I promise, sewing is really not that hard. I think a lot of people kind of psych themselves out and they think that they can't sew or they can't learn how to sew, but it's actually pretty easy, um, especially for a simple project like this where you just need to do one straight stitch. You can do it by hand with just a needle and thread. It's really, really easy, you guys. Trust me, I will link a video down below on just how to do like a simple straight stitch with a needle and thread in case you don't have a sewing machine. But if you do have a sewing machine, it makes it so much easier to just sew it on with your sewing machine. So what you wanna make sure that you do is just line it up on the edge of your cut and only sew on the outer edge of the grommet ribbon or whatever. You don't want to sew on the inner edge. You don't want to sew it to where you can't get to the holes. You want to make sure that it's hanging off the edge so that you can get through the holes and just sew it on the outer edge of the material right here. That way you can still lace it from the inner part. And then you're pretty much done. After that, I also got 
this um, lacing, which kind of almost looks like the same lacing that they have inside of the hoodie itself. Um, this little black lacing, I got this from Joann's as well, in the same section that I got the actual grommet stuff from. Um, so you can buy that by the yard too. You can also get like ribbon. You can also use like a shoelace. You can use like a chain. Be creative, use whatever type of, you know, ribbon or string you wanna use. I just kinda wanted to match it to the style of the hoodie. Um, and then just to add a little bit of extra like grunge, a little bit of extra something to the rest of the hoodie since my hoodie was just a plain black one, I decided to distress it. So the way that I like to pretty much distress all different types of clothing, whether it be jeans or t-shirts or whatever it is, I like to use a razor instead of scissors. So I'm just using this little eyebrow razor. Um, you need like a straight razor where you can like actually get to it. Like you can't use like a shaving razor because it doesn't, it's not like the right shape or whatever. But these little eyebrow razors, you can get them from a dollar at the beauty supply store or whatever. And I like to just slice across the fabric until I get a hole. And sometimes I slice until right before an actual hole comes. It just kind of gives you that distress like fraying look rather than when you just take scissors and just cut a slice or just cut a hole it's too much of a clean look in my opinion it just looks like you literally just cut a hole like you can tell you use scissors or whatever but when you use a razor and you just keep slicing at it really fast it like frays up the fabric it gives that that fluffy distressed look where it looks like you know I've actually just been wearing this hoodie for forever and it got holes in it over time like that's more of the look that I was going for um you can also take a rock and also make sure you always have something underneath it so that's why I'm putting cardboard underneath because you don't want to like cut through both layers if you're not trying to or whatever but if you take a rock and you have the cardboard underneath you can just rub the rock on the fabric really hard really fast until you get like that distressed look too but to me it's a lot better than just using scissors um, but if you do have certain places where you just want like more of a real hole I did do some areas um, where I did just take the scissors and cut like a little tiny hole But I didn't make any like big slices or like cut any big holes with the scissors. I just let the razor um, Do everything and so you can see it gives like this more stringy, you know, just you know more of a Distressed look like I don't know how to describe it But it just gives like more of an authentic look in my opinion it's just kind of in places where you would normally actually get distressing um, and then I did it like on the edge of the um sweater as well so I just kind of distressed all over it and another cool thing that you could add to this project is putting some bleach in a spray bottle and spray bleaching your whole hoodie and it'll kind of give like that orangey bleach effect and then of course put it in the washer so that you can like wash out all the bleach um, I didn't do that on this one but I probably will do that in a future project other than that that's pretty much it it actually was really really simple it doesn't take long at all like I said the sewing is not hard at all I promise I promise you guys, even if you don't have a sewing machine, you could easily do this with a needle and thread. I suppose that if you really, really didn't want to sew, you probably could attach it with some sort of fabric glue or something, I guess. I'm not totally sure. I didn't try it. I just really like to sew because it just makes it like super secure. You know that when you wash it, it's not going to like pop off or anything. You could do this on a t-shirt. You could take this same idea and apply it to a lot of different things, but I just kind of wanted to do something different by doing it on an actual hoodie and leaving the hood on because that was just kind of something that I hadn't really seen seen in stores so yeah I'm really happy with how it came out so like I said guys don't forget to check out the other two DIYs lace up DIYs that I made I will have those videos linked down below it is going to be some lace up jeans that I'm really really excited about and it's going to be a lace up corset t-shirt which I think is pretty cool too if I do say so myself so if you guys like this lace up trend if you like this style definitely check out those other two videos um, let me know down below if you will be trying this out if you like it if it's something that you think you would be able to do trust me guys it's really really easy also I will have some extra photos and stuff of how this looks on me and how I would style it I will have that on my blog if you want to see how like some outfits would look with all of these different um, lace-up DIYs that I'm doing 
Um, so yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you want me to do more fashion DIYs. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.